hello to all my amazing Aries out there how are you I hope you guys have been having a great um, July and August so far depending on when you're watching this video I know I owe you guys a July video and I'm really sorry about that I've been very busy lately but I am now finally slowing down a little bit and taking the time to do these readings for you so thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for joining me for this one okay so um, if you are a subscriber of mine then um, you know how I normally do my spreads. I'm going to do something a little bit different this month because I want to get as many messages as possible to you in this reading. And I want to make sure that we cover all of the different um, energies that you know the different Aries may be experiencing, whether you're sun, moon, and rising, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with an Aries. So we're going to get all the messages possible here, doing more of like a freestyle kind of spread where whatever messages jump out to me, I will mention during this reading, okay? Also, I always encourage everyone to comment their birthdays down in the comment section. See if you can find your birthday twin, okay? And let's see where we're going. So we are in Leo season right now. I love Leo season. Leo season always reminds me of a lot of fun, a lot of adventure, um, being seen, feeling really confident. So hopefully that energy is picking up on you or rubbing off on you as well. So let's get into it, okay? Um, this reading is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Universe. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Can you please show me currently what's the energy that the collective Aries is experiencing right now? What is the energy that Aries is experiencing? You have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, Aries. Are you trying to make a decision? Are you balancing something out? The Three of Wands, Two and the Three. Aries, you guys are really planning for the future right now. You guys are deciding what it is that you want. I feel like you have a lot of opportunity coming your way here, but you are narrowing down your choices, okay? You have a lot of opportunity coming your way. This is the card of your ships coming in. And I feel a need to decide what you want to go through, so uh, what you want to choose. So whether you're choosing between um, jobs, paths, direction people either way you have a lot to choose from and you're really trying to decide at this point august is going to be a big month for you um, about decisions i see but it's good to know that you have you have options here you have choices you have different paths you can choose different directions you can take what else can you tell me about this energy surrounding aries Okay, and time is fluid, so this will be, whenever you're watching this video, what is the energy that you're picking up from Aries watching this video right now? Seven of Wands, you see? It's almost as if you have a lot going on right now, Aries, and you're trying to find a way to stay on top of it. You're trying to find a way to remain in control because I feel like a lot is happening around you. You could have people coming to visit you. Um, you could be trying to buy, uh, balance your finances as well. Or there could be a lot of people trying to get in contact with you or reach out to you or probably wanting to, to socialize with you. I know we were going through the Mercury retrograde. Um, depending on when you're watching this, it could be over, it could be not. <laughs> but um, I feel like there's a lot of people who are vying for your attention. A lot of people who want... A piece of Aries or want your time and you're trying to find a way to balance that so there's a lot of things happening around you that you're not able to give all of your focus and your attention to at the same time you are trying to be fair you are trying to find that balance it could be between work and social life work and romance um, between certain friends, family members, you are trying to find that balance where you can keep everything in order. Keeping order is very important to you right now. But I do see a lot of swift action, a lot of activity coming your way. For every, every Aries, it will be different. But let's see. What can you tell me about all of this activity coming towards Aries? Can you please clarify what is this activity or what is all this energy that is coming towards Aries right now? Whoa, okay, lots of stuff happening. You have the Empress here. Okay, so lots of opportunities, abundance, opportunities to grow. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. So again, I'm getting here that 
you are looking for growth and expansion, Aries. You are looking for a way to set some sort of foundation here, some sort of groundwork with the Four of Pentacles. The Empress is here, which is talking about a lot of things developing around you. As I said before, there is a lot happening for you, a lot of blessings coming your way. But for some reason, it seems to be a little bit overwhelming at times. But you're Aries. You are a god of war. You guys are able to stay on top of overwhelming situations and stand your ground and have the higher view above other things. You don't let things conquer you. You conquer it. And that's the energy I'm getting from you right now where you are trying to really focus on something that's going to help you grow, not only as a person, but financially. Something that helps bring stability into your life as well. And something that keeps you very much grounded. So this could have to do with family. This could have to do with finances. This could have to do with opportunities. But you are looking really good here, Aries, with the Empress card. You're looking very good this month. Expect to have a lot of things happening around you, a lot of money coming towards your way, a lot of job opportunities, opportunities to travel, opportunities to save. I see you trying to save a lot of money here as well. But you are very driven. You are goal-orientated and you are going for what it is that you want. You're making a lot of plans and you're kind of building a foundation for the future is what I'm seeing, the current energy around you for August. So very nice areas, very nice, stable, grounded energy. So let's see what we can expect. What can we expect? Let's make sure the music's not too loud. All right. So what do you see coming towards Aries as we move further into the month of August? Universe, what can you show me coming towards Aries? What is coming towards Aries as we move Ace of Cups, okay, more offers, more opportunities. A lot of you could be a new opportunity in love. Clarify this Ace of Cups. There's definitely a new beginning or a new start. A lot of abundance, Aries, this month for you. A lot of abundance, whether that be in money, in finances. Look at the Six of Wands flipping over. A lot of victory. You're going to be successful in something that you truly want. I feel as if you've been planning for it for a while. I feel as if you've been working hard at it. If there was competition when it comes to love or a job offer or anything around you, I feel like you are victorious. You are the one who gets this cup of love or you get the promotion or you get to be chosen. For some reason, you're being recognized. You're standing out above the crowd and the people around you. And you're looking really good. I'm getting like Empress energy from you. You are the Emperor Aries, but I'm getting very strong Empress energy, which is saying that whatever these, this abundance that you're getting, it does have a lot to do with like your intuition and your emotions and how you feel as a person and your self-esteem and your confidence, which is very important to you. You are definitely being recognized here and standing out above the crowd. So if you feel as if you're in competition with anyone or for anything, I feel as if there is no competition for you, Aries, because you're sitting pretty. You are standing out above many people. You have this energy around you which says that you are very abundant. You make things grow. You have the ability to manifest what you want. You're highly independent. And you're very much wanted in the month of August, very much wanted. We'll pull some love cards later, but this could be for any other, for many different reasons. If you're a cross watcher, I feel like you really notice this Aries and you want this person, you want to offer them something. You feel like it's going to be very successful or they're very successful or, or you know, super confident. Something about the Aries that you just really, and Aries does have that energy about them, but you, there's something about them that you just, you know that this person 
is a winner, this person is, you know, worthy of this cup. So you are getting a lot of success coming towards you in the month of August. A lot of offers coming towards you. So get ready for that. You have the Page of Swords. A lot of you could be dealing with an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But someone has been watching you. Someone wants to communicate to you that you're, you know, they choose you. You're the chosen one. What else can you tell me about this communication coming towards Aries? Wow, this card came out yet again, the Seven of Wands. I feel as if, if this is an outside person here, this person is definitely fighting for your attention, fighting for your love. You could be doing the same if you're fighting for someone's attention or love. They notice you. You will be victorious. You have a six of wands, seven of wands. So you're pro progressing here. For some of you, I'm getting like an energy of betrayal. Yeah, I just see that five of cups came out just now. I'm getting as like, <coughs> there could be someone here as well, external to you, who's seeing a lot of the success happening around you, and they're not happy about it. Get that here from that page of swords person. There is someone who is watching you become successful. This person hasn't gotten over you or they are kind of like a very pessimistic person. They only see the, the loss. They're not able to move on or move forward. And I feel like sometimes they want to cause a little bit of chaos or, or drama in your life. Because they see how successful you are. They see how well you're doing without them. So that's something to be aware of, Aries. If there is a person here that you're dealing with, someone from the outside, could be water sign, fire sign like yourself, air sign. This person is watching you be successful. This person is seeing you grow. And they're lurking a little bit. And they're battling with moving on from you as well. But I feel as if you are heading towards a new direction. So that may be why you are being so defensive in a way, because I feel like you're getting a lot of offers, not only from new people, but from people from the past. And you are really focused on doing what's best for you, staying out of toxic situations. I feel as if you don't want to go to the past. You want to remain in the present and you want to move towards the future. So very nice energy here, Aries. Okay, let's see if we can get some advice for you. What's some advice you have? General advice for Aries. General advice for Aries in the month of August universe. Please give me, let's close, turn that over. There goes your card. Okay, Aries, the emperor. You guys have the advantage this month. I wouldn't worry about a thing, you know. A lot of people are, are being feeling very drawn to you. But you are not just letting anyone be like an energy vampire to you. You are definitely being very selective as far as who you let into your circle. And I feel as if you just want positive vibes around you, positive people. You don't want anyone who's in that Five of Cups energy, anyone who is a, like a negative or Debbie Downer or someone who just is very emotionally dependent. There you go again, Aries. Okay. You're really looking to, to build your network or, or surround yourself with, with positive growth, positive people, people who are like-minded, entrepreneurs as well. I feel like you are just laser focused, okay? And if love is something that you're looking for and seeking, you're not looking for anything from the past or repeating any mistakes from the past. You want something that's going to be very abundant, very, very balanced, and something that's going to bring a lot of growth in the future, okay? So... You are focused, Aries. What's some advice here for Aries that'll help them get through the month of August? What's some advice, universe, that you have for them? You have Justice, the card of Libra as well. The card of Balance. The card of Fairness. Let me get a card to pop out here. Two of Swords now. Okay. A lot of sword energy here. And the Queen of Wands, there you go, my beautiful Aries.
fire sign individual. Aries, you are super powerful this month. You're super powerful. You are you are able to see things so clearly right now. I get a lot of, you know, this also reminds me sort of it like justice because justice is blind. Justice isn't bias. This is saying for you, Aries, to be fair, to be balanced, to stay in your power here, to do what is right, to do what you feel is right and just. Do not let emotions cloud your judgment here. This Leo energy here, I, I'm just noticing here, I think there are some lines in the back of her chair there. This Leo energy that you're feeling right now is going to make you feel very powerful. This Leo season is what I meant to say. It's going to make you feel very powerful. And I feel like you guys are very much focused on balance and karma and things being right, making things right. You have the power here, Aries, seriously, to, to determine how the next couple of months are going to go in your life, how you deal with certain things, certain energies that come your way. You have the power to control that. What's going to be the outcome here for Aries in the month of August? What's going to be the outcome? What is the outcome here for Aries? You have the hanged man. So you are extremely enlightened extremely enlightened here I feel like you're gonna take a lot of time to yourself you're doing a lot of like spiritual growth and self-nurturing as well page of Pentacles and you're looking for opportunities to invest your time your energy your money you're seeking change and growth And I feel as if you feel like this is almost a new beginning for you. A start of a new beginning. But it feels good. It feels right. It feels like you're on the right path. And I feel as if you're relying very much on spirit and also very much on your better judgment. All right, let's pull a couple of love cards and then we're going to wrap this reading up, Aries. Okay. Okay. Let's see what is going on. We'll use the Romance Angels. Let's see what is going on for Aries. Give me a little overview for Aries in their love life. What are some messages or energies, universe that you're picking up for Aries in their love life? In the month of August 2019, you have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. If there's someone that you want to offer that cup of love to, I think universe is here encouraging you, religious factors. I feel as if a lot of you Aries, you are relying heavily on the spiritual path that you're on. You may feel very spiritually drawn to a person. If you do, if it feels right in your gut, I think universe wants you to express that love. You have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, Aries, you guys are definitely looking for something new. You have chemistry here at the bottom of your deck. You do have chemistry with this person. You guys may be different as far as like your backgrounds, how you were raised. Could even be different um, racially as well. You guys come to, from two different cultures. Um, so maybe this is a reason why you are holding back a little bit. But either way, you have a lot of chemistry with this person. The more you get to know them, the more you get to realize that you're starting to develop some serious feelings for them. Okay? This person could be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also water sign I'm getting, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you have to let your friends help you. If you're feeling unsure about what to do, your friends, if you have a good support system, let them help you by giving you advice as well on what they think you should do. Because I feel like you like someone, but you feel as if you guys are on two different paths or possibly um, you feel as if you are just very different in what you believe in and, and what your culture is. But 
I don't think that should stop you, Aries. I think you should go for it. Whoa. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I think you should go for it. You know, you guys are definitely going to possibly be getting into something very soon. I'm not saying like a, a literal engagement, but I feel like as you get to know this person more and more, you're going to see that you have more common ground than you think. And then you guys, you guys are going to move into something a little bit more committed. It will take time. It's going to grow little by little. But don't doubt yourself. Don't let these differences that you guys have hold you back. Okay, Aries? So that's kind of just some general messages for you in your love life. All right? Now, if you want to do um, or go additionally in depth with this, I am offering um, love and finance readings over at Vimeo. You can purchase that. That will give you a very in-depth um, reading of as far as like your energy, your person's energy, the energy of the union, what's to happen in the future, some advice. And then we'll also look at your finances, what's to come in finances, and also some advice on that as well. Okay. So those uh, links should be down in the description if you're interested in purchasing that. If not, I still love you, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope these messages were able to give you some clarity. And I really, really hope to see you in the next video. Okay, Aries, take care.